hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video we are going to create an ai chatbot by using versal open ai and the backend technology would mainly be next.js we will be installing it locally but as it is using some hosted services like versal and open ai you would need to sign up to the respective websites and get your environment variables and api keys the good thing is that at Versal you can create your own account for free and then you can just register as a hobbyist and then use their environment variables and API keys within the project and I will shortly show you how you can create that. But for the OpenAI's API key you would need to go to platform.openai.com and from there you would need to register that's a paid service so you would at least need 5 to 10 dollars in there in your account after registering so that you could get API key. Versal is a platform that enables developers to build, deploy and manage fast, scalable and secure websites and web applications. It provides a suite of tools and services to support the entire development cycle. There is a lot to it. I already have covered Versal and its features in some of my previous videos. But for the purpose of this, we are just going to focus on as how to uh, create a chatbot out of it and an AI powered one. Okay, so that's set and done. So if you are new to Versal, just on the type uh, top right, click on sign up and then sign in with your email address. Once you are signed in there, you would be presented with a screen like this. And as you can see on the top left, I am uh, just logged in and signed up as a hobbyist. I don't have any project at the moment, so just on the top right click on this add new and then project and then from here you could uh, simply continue with your github or you could just create a boiler plate project so here you can just simply click on this next dot js boilerplate and then you can either create your own github repo or you could just browse through So because it deploys it in the github so you must have a github account for that simply go to github.com and then sign up with, uh, with your email for a free account and once you have it just click on github and it is going to integrate it with your github so let me click here and then integrate it with github and it's already done because i already was logged in with github and you can see that I am connected as my own GitHub account here just now. After connecting, when you will come back, you will see that your GitHub repo ID is already or your username is already populated here. And then it is going to create this new private Git repository. You can simply click on create here. Let's wait. And then it is showing us that it is cloning it. So let's wait for it to get cloned. And now it is deploying our project. Shouldn't take too long. And then now you can see that it has congratulated me. And there was a shower of flowers here on the screen. That was quite cool. And now as you can see that we have done it here. Next you can instant preview, add domain, a lot of other things. But let's continue to dashboard here. And this is our a new project. Now, once we are in our project, the reason why we have created this project is to create a KV database for our AI chatbot. So in order to create KV database, we needed a project. That is why we have created it, which is a container of all the resources. So now in order to create a KV database on this project page, you see that there are various tabs here. Just click on this storage tab and then just scroll down a bit and you will see this option of KV. Let's click on create here. You can give it any name. I'm just going to go with whatever it has given me this database name. And then I will just keep the region as is. If you want uh, to select any read replicas or anything like that, but I'm not going to go with that. Just click on create here and let's wait for it to get created. And our KV database has been created. And now you can simply click on this connect button here. And now we have connected our project to this boilerplate uh, 
project to the KV database. As you can see here, there are a lot of options. This is simply it is hosted in the cloud at the moment. You have 256 MB size, which, which is more than enough for us. And then these are our limits in the free account. And then there is a lot of other information if you're interested to learn more about it, but let's not worry about it for now. Now, the thing which we need from this is these environment variables at the last tab. So let's click here and then you will see that there are four environments variable KV URL, REST API URL, and then REST API token and read only token. So we need to grab all of these for that on the right, just click on show secret and then you can copy it. So just copy it somewhere safe because this is what we will be uh, putting it in, saving it on our local system when we install it. So let me uh, show the secret and grab it and save it. Next up, let's go and install that MagicX AI chatbot. Their GitHub repo is this and it's a fork of the Versal's chatbot it seems. There are a lot of good features in this MagicX um, chatbot. For example, you can do uh, simply as a next.js app router, you can use React server components, you can do streaming chat UI. It has got support for OpenAI. If you want to use Anthropic, Hugging Face or any other custom AI chat model, mainly API based, you can use it easily with their environment file and I will shortly show you. Of course, like other chatbots, you can have chat history, rate limiting and also session storage. Okay, so that's said and done. We already have got our API keys from Versal and I am assuming that you also have got your openai.platform.com uh, openai.platform.com key from OpenAI. Okay, so that's said and done. Now let me take you to my local system where we will start installing. We would also need to git clone this repo. So let me take you there. This is my Ubuntu system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card from an uh, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. But because we will be using the API based system, you don't need that much GPU. In fact, you can even run it on CPU if you have a good memory and CPU. Okay, so let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a virtual environment. I'm just calling it MX with Conda. You can use Python virtual environment or even you can just go direct and install it. But let's wait for this one to get activated. And the Conda environment is created and we are we have stepped into it. Next, let's git clone the repo of AI Magic X and CD into it. That is done. Let me clear the screen. Now, once that's done, if you would go here, you will see that there is a file called as env.example. And if I, so first we need to maybe just cp it like dot env and then let me open it there you go so here you need to replace your open api key and then you can uh, simply generate a random secret if you like just put any random secret by going to this url or even open ssl once that's done you can uh, put your github authentication app you can get it from github.com just like we integrated our application if you don't want to do that it is going to pick up the stuff which you already have integrated in the versal but the key thing here is this first one open is api key and these are four environment variables which i showed you earlier so make sure to uh, populate at least these five environment environment variables so let me populate them here and then i will save and exit this file Okay, so I have saved my file after setting up all the environment variables. Next up, make sure that you have npm install. Of course, you should have node also installed. So if you don't, just simply check with the version. So you can see that I have a latest version installed. Also make sure you have npm installed and you have pnpm installed. If you don't know how to install these three, Please search my channel. I already have done a step-by-step -step video on these. So you should be able to install it. It's fairly simple. There are one or two lines which you need to run. Okay, so I have these installed. Let's first install Versal CLI here with the NPM. Let's run it. Let's wait for it to get installed. 
it is going to download and then install this with the help of npm and that is done let me clear the screen next up let's link the github account with Vercel. this is going to use the environment variables which we have put in a dot env file so once you run it it is going to say uh, continue with github just press enter and you can see that now it has been linked and github authentication is complete next up just press capital y here and then press enter and then you can just link to your existing project by pressing y here and you can see that now it has linked to my existing project which we already have created let me clear the screen if you like you can even uh, pull your environment variables from the versus website but I'm going to go with my local file, so I'm not going to pull it here. Next up, let's install um, all the dependencies in this current rep repo with the help of pnpm. And it is going to take a bit of our time, so let's. it's already done. That is cool. Let me clear the screen and then let's run it with pnpm dev command. And once you run it, you can see that now it is running at our local host at port 3000. So let me open it in the browser and show you. And there you go, it is running in our local host at port 3000. At the first screen, it is going to ask you again to log in with GitHub. So let me click there and log in. And once you log in, you are going to see a screen like this. Let me make it slightly bigger. And then you can just simply start talking with your chatbot. You can just select any from here or you can just simply type any prompt of yours like what is happiness and then it is going to give you an answer you can ask it as anything you like what is life and its purpose let's be philosophical today and there you go so you see it is a um, bit of a effort to create our local chatbot with this versal sdk plus um, this magic x repo plus kv database from Vercel and open as api key but looks good once it's get up and running so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know if you face any issues if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching